Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of How and Why Lighting. Um, today we're going to talk about this image. So this is an image of a wonderful uh, model and dancer, Lauren Noel. Um, uh, this was shot on location in Dallas. I had a house with a, with a pool, but it was shot in uh, February. For which reason I couldn't really use the pool as a pool, because it was a little too cold. However, um, I figured that I can at least use the blues in, in the water and, and, and there was a, like this slightly textured um, wall and I thought that for a dancer that, that's not the, the worst place to photograph, you know, just standing on point. Um, I can show you the original image. So this is the, the original as, as it was shot and this is the, the, the final the final. So what has been changed? So the, the several things. Uh, the way I'm lighting it is I'm lighting it with a big umbrella on from my left, so big soft lighting because I just want it to be kind of big and flat and that's in addition to the uh, light coming naturally from, from the sky. But nonetheless the, the, the it's the the natural light in this case was uh, was a fill light. The key light is the my big umbrella. However, the big umbrella, as you can see here, is uh, reflecting a little bit in the wall. So I eliminated that reflection. I eliminated these two little drains uh, or lights, whatever they are, uh, just because I did not like them. I, of course, deleted this thing from here because that was uh, unnecessary. I mean, I'm, I was telling her to pose in such a way that it wouldn't be kind of to the side of her or like directly in the middle in between the legs rather than touching her leg to make my job uh, a little easier. However, as she was moving about, sometimes, you know, she would, she would inch in and it would be starting to touch the, the leg. So uh, made it made, made eliminating it a little bit more complicated, but I think, I mean, I did, I did a person job. I mean, I do not really see uh, much left of it. I don't see many artifacts or anything like that. So I think that that was done uh, relatively reasonably well. Uh, the big change of course, and I'll show you how exactly how to do it. So here we go, cool uh, little trick for you. The, the the sky as you can see in the original image is really lame so i mean i have this just this this white you know drizzly day just what boring white overcast there is no blue scene there at all i of course wanted a dramatic sky and ideally i wanted to match the color of the pool in order to create this composition i wanted to create this kind of frame so where she's framed like sandwich in between the two blues and blue and orange are complementary colors and that's what I'm kind of going after. So the orange in her skin and the orange in the, in the background and it's kind of complementing uh, with the with the blue. So orange and blue completely complementary colors. So of course I didn't want just a white here. The blue was asking for it. So how is it done? I mean I'll do it for you right in front of you. So we'll just go. I already have it open. Yeah, I have it on open Photoshop. So here it is. This original image open uh, in Photoshop. So all I do is I create uh, a new um, layer. Then I will I will take uh, my fill here. I'll sample the blue that I want. In this case, I want this type of blue, like from, because I kind of want the sky to match the, the pool. So we're gonna do that. I'm uh, making sure that my uh, its opacity is at 100%. So just to, bam, and we turn everything blue. Now here's the cool part. Well, to make it a little more or less, I mean, I'll just go ahead and delete the bottom part because we will not need it at all. So I'll need the blue only in the upper part. But here's the fun part comes. If I right click uh, on the on the layer, I open blending options. And down here, I have a slider going for underlying layer. That means it's it's blend. It's it's a blend mode, which is changes the way the, the color is um, spread out between shadows and the highlights. And when you modify it on the underlying layer, it means that it's looking at the bottom layer. It's what's what's underneath for guidance. So if I start sliding it a little bit, we start seeing that a little bit of whites, all the difference between whites. Uh, I'm I'm doing in the highlights since it's so bright, um, you know, such a bright cloudy sky. So I'm doing it like that. As you can see, it doesn't really look that spectacular, but we're starting to get a little bit of the blues. However, if I press Alt and click on it on this slider, as you can see, it's split into two. And this allows me to adjust it a little more. And if you start looking at the sky, it's starting to look a little more natural. And so here we go. I adjust it until it started looking like the sky that I want. A little more white. Because I want, it, I want, I want to have the blues, but I don't want it to look completely synthetic. There we go. 
And then basically I just mask away, I just add mask uh, to this layer, take a black brush, so it's a black solid brush, and start brushing away, uh, obviously doing a lot more careful job uh, than I'm doing now, but here we go, here is your dramatic sky now it, it does not work if there was if it was just white if it was just plain white nothing would happen you basically need uh some kind of gradation so if you look at the, the background we can see that there is some differences between the highlights and slightly dark areas that's the only way i could, I could have made the, the the clouds look more dramatic otherwise you know it nothing would, would, would change but here we go a cool trick is about how to make uh, boring overcast skies a little more uh, dramatic. I ran into it by blind chance. <laughs> I'm sure somebody else has done it uh, as well. But I like to experiment when when I, when I retouch, and uh, I was just found this trick a while back, um, just just messing around with blending options and seeing what they do. So uh, here we are. And uh, if you have any questions about this image, feel free to ask away. But uh, here is the, the the final that as I have it. All right. Thank you.